Hey kiddos, uh, there are a few cross number puzzles in this unit's enrichment stuff. Um, you may have done these before, uh, but if not, just a quick um, video on how to do them. Um, a cross number puzzle is just like a crossword, a crossword puzzle, but the difference being you are going to solve math problems and write numbers in the puzzle as opposed to words. So there's two directions, across and down. Uh, which will tell you the direction that you're going to write your answers. You can look up here. Um, each box gets one digit. So you're not going to write multiple digits inside of one box. And the letters of the hints correspond with the letters in the puzzle. So, for example, A, 796 minus 325, my answer to that is going to go up here in this top corner because A is right here and I'm going across. So... If I wanted to write this out, 796 minus 325, let's see, 6 minus 1, 6 minus 5 is 1, 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 minus 3 is 4. So my answer that's going to go way up here in the corner is going to be 471. So I'm going to write a 4 in this box, a 7 in this box, and a 1 in this box. Um, so that's how this is going to work, basically. Um, the one thing, or a couple things to keep an eye on also. So, 471, that was A across. You'll also see sometimes there's going to be another letter, the same letter down. And that's because if you look up here, again, there's A. Now there's also blanks going down from A. So, if this says choose the least number, 543, 453, 553, 455, what's the smallest or the least number? I think it's got to be this one right here, 453, which makes sense because if we come back up to A, 4 has to be the first digit, but now we're writing the answer down. So if 453 is our answer, then we've got the 4, and then coming down, we've got our 5 and our 3, okay? The one other thing to keep an eye out for is sometimes you'll have a clue where you really can't put an answer in. This one, like E across, says a number that reads the same backwards and forwards. So you know in E, if it reads the same backwards and forwards, this digit and this digit have to be the same, and then the one in the middle might be different, but we don't know what any of those digits are. But, as you can also see, if you figure out what B down is, and F down is, and C down is, you'll get that answer done anyway. So you might have to skip one if it doesn't quite make sense, and then you can check it once you've got everything else filled out. So, But that's how cross-over puzzles work. Have fun.